Hello everybody and welcome to exercise four. And this problem is asking us to do something that we haven't done for quite a while and that is to find the equation of the tangent line to a function at a particular point. Okay, and I'd like to start just with a rough sketch so we can remember what this type of problem is all about. Okay, so we've got a function f of x and then there's a particular point that we're looking at, and the tangent line, remember, is just the line that's tangent to the graph that just grazes it at one point. And so that the slope of the tangent line describes the slope of the graph. Okay, so that red line, that's what we're what we're looking for an equation of. So let's remind ourselves, before we dive into this, just what pieces of information we need when we find the equation of a line. Basically, the two most useful things, um, pieces of information I can think of are a slope, that's a big piece of finding the equation of a line, and also a point. If we can find the slope of the line and a point on the line, we're in business. We can write the equation for that line. All right, so let's start with the slope. How do we find the slope of a tangent line? Okay, well here, this goes back to one of the main concepts that we talked about early on, early on in the course. The derivative of a function gives us the slope of the tangent line. So we're going to take our formula, x ln of x, and start by taking its derivative. All right, and you might notice that x ln of x is a product, so we're going to use the product rule to take the derivative. All right, so we're going to get x times the derivative of ln of x, which is 1 over x, plus ln of x, and the derivative of x is just 1. And notice that here you can cancel the x's, make this a little simpler. We get a derivative that just looks like 1 plus ln of x. All right, how do we get a slope out of that? Well, here's where we remember that they're telling us that x equals e is the place that we're interested in finding the slope. So to get the actual slope of our tangent line, we're just going to substitute e into the formula that we got for the derivative. So we get 1 plus ln of e, and the natural log of e turns out just to be 1. Okay, so we wind up with a slope of 2 in this case. Okay, and then the other piece of information we need is a point on the line. And here, our picture might help us a little bit. You might notice that this point, there's a point that's on both the tangent line and the function, okay, at the number x equals e. So if we want to find a point on our tangent line, all we really need to do is to take that number x equals e and to substitute it back into our formula. All right, so the calculation we'd like to do is just to take f of e. Um, so if we do that, let's see, substitute that into the original function, we're going to get e ln of e. And because natural log of e is 1 again, that's just going to give us a value of e. All right, so basically putting that all together, we substituted in e, we got out e. So that means that the point e e is on our tangent line. Okay, so let's see if we can put that all together to come up with an equation of our tangent line. So we know that the line is going to have the form y equals mx plus b, and the m is sitting right here, the slope of 2. Okay. So to finish, we just need to figure out what that number b is. And there we can use the fact that we know a point on the line. We know that e e is on the line. So if we substitute those two numbers in for x and y, we have to get a true statement. Okay, notice that that gives us a way to solve for, for b. We can just subtract 2e from both sides. All right, so e minus 2e is negative e. Remember that e is just a number. Okay, so there's our um, y-intercept, and we are in a position to write our final answer. So we're just going to take the line that we started with, y equals 2x plus b, and substitute in the b that we just found. b is negative e, so 
final formula for the equation of our line is y equals 2x minus e. Okay, and there it is.